Hello students, welcome to Ann's classes. Let's do HCF Chapter 8, Exercise 8C. This is on page number 103 and we are doing question 1. Using the common factor method, find the HCF of, the first one is 25 and 20. Let's write all the factors of 25. 25, 1 into 25 is 25. What else will give us 25? 5, 5s are 25. That's it. So the factors of 25 are 1, 5 and 25. Factors of 20. The factors of 20 are 1 into 20 is 20. Then 2 tens are 20. What else will give us 20? 4 fives. 4 fives are 20. That's it. So let's write down all the factors of 20. 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. So all these are the factors of 20. Now here let's pick out the common factors. So what is common to both? 1 is common. Then 5. 5 is also common. So here we have two common factors. 1 and 5. From this, we have to pick out the highest common factor among these two numbers, which is a bigger number. 5 is bigger. So the highest common factor for this question is 5. So here we have three numbers. So first, let's find the factors of 8. So 1, 2's, 1, 8's are 8. Then we have 2, 4's are 8. That's it. Nothing else will give us 8. So the factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4 and 8. Now let's find the factors of 12. The factors of 12, 1 12's are 12, then 2 6's are 12. What else? 3 4's are 12. That's it. So these are the factors of 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. Now let's find the factors of 18. So the factors of 18 will be 1 into 18 is 18. Then 2, 9s are 18. 3, 6s are 18. So these are the factors of 18. 1, 2, 3. Then we have 6, 9 and 18. So these are all the factors of 8, 12 and 18. Now we have to pick the common factors from these. Now the factors have to be common to all the three numbers. So 1 is common to all three. Okay, so we have 1. Then we have 2 that's common to all three. Now, is there any other number that's common to all three? We have 4 here and 4 here, but it's not there for 18. That's it. We have 3 and 3 here, but it's not there for 8. So the common factors are just 1 and 2. So from this, we pick out the highest one, which is the bigger number, 2. So the highest common factor of the HCF is 2. Here we have four numbers. So factors of 24. Let's find the factors of 24. 1 into 24 is 24. Let's take 2. 2 12s are 24. What about 3? 3 eighths are 24. 4? Four, 4 sixes are 24. That's it. So these are the factors of 24. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we have 6, 8, 12 and 24. These are the factors of 24. Now let's get the factors of 36. 1 into 36 is 36. What about 2? 2 into 18 is 36. 3 you know, it's divisible by 3. 3 into what? So we can do division to find out the other number. 3 1s are 3 minus 6. 3 2s are 6. So the other number is 12. 3 12s are 36. Then what about 4? 4 9s are 36. Then again we have 6. 6 6s six are 36. So let's write down all the factors of 36. 1, 2, 3, 4, then we have 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36. Now the next number 
we have to write the factors of 45. So let's write the factors of 45. 1 into 45 is 45. What else will give us 45? What about 3? Now let's see if this number is divisible by 3. Add up the digits. 4 plus 5 is 9. Yes, it's divisible by 3. So 3 into what? For that, we're going to do division to find out 3 into what? 3 ones are 3 minus 1, bring down 5. 3 fives are 15. So that means 3 into 15 is 45. Then we go on to 5. 5 nines are 45. That's it. Only these are the factors of 45. Let's write it down. 1, 3, 5, 9, 15 and 45. Now we have to find the factors of 60. So let's find the factors of 60. 1 into 60 is 60. Now 2 into 3 is 6. So 2 into 30 is 60. What about 3? 3 twos are 6. So 3 into 20 is 60. Now, is this number divisible by 4? Let's do and see. Let's see whether it's divisible by 4. So 4 ones are 4 minus 6 minus 4 is 2, 20. 4 fives are 20. So it is divisible by 4. So we can write 4 into 15 is 60. What about 5? 5 into 12 is 60. What about 6? 6 tens are 60. That's it. So these are the factors of 60. So let's write it down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then we have 10, 12, 15, 20, 30 and 60. So quite a number of factors for 60. Now we need to pick the common factors which will be common to all four numbers. We have 1 that is common to all four numbers. Then what about 2? 2 is there for these three numbers. It's not there for 45. Let's see 3. 3 is common. So we have 3 for all four numbers. So 3 is also common. What about 4? 4 is not common. 6? No. 8? No. 12? No. So it should be common to all the numbers. So what are the numbers that are common? The numbers that are common factors here are only 1 and 2. 3. So here, which is the bigger number? The bigger number is 3. So our HCF is 3. The HCF is 3. Question 2. Using the prime factor method, find the HCF of 40, 60 and 80. 40. So let's find all the prime factors of 40. So let's start with 2. 2. 20s are 40. Continue again. 2 tens are 20. 2 fives are 10. Now we continue to divide by 5 because 5 is also a prime number. 5 ones are 5. So the prime factors of 40 are 2 into 2 into 2 into 5. So let's find the prime factors of 60. Starting with 2. 2 into 30. 2 threes are 6. So 2 thirties are 60. Then 2 again into 15. Now we have to take another prime number that is 3. 3 fives are 15. And again divided by another prime number 5. 5 ones are 5. So what are the prime factors of 60? 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Now let's take the prime factors of 80. So let's divide 80 by 2 again. 2 4s are 8, so 2 40s are 80. Then 2 2s are 4, so 2 20s are 40. 2 10s are 20. 2 5s are 10. Now we take 5. 5 1s are 5. So what are all the prime factors of 80? There are 4 2s. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. And then there is a 5. So now we are going to look for the common prime factor. So I have 2 that's common. So let's write down 2. Then again we have another 2 that's common. So we have one more 2 that's common here. So let's write into 2. 
Then what else is common? We have a 5 that's common. 5 is common to all 3 into 5. Now we need to multiply all 3. 2 2's are 4. I multiply these. 2 2's are 4. 4 5's are 20. So the common prime factors will be these. When you multiply that, you get your highest common factor, which is 20. So 20 is the highest common factor. So this is the method that you need to follow in the prime factor method. Now 48. So let's find the prime factors of 48, starting with 2. 2 twos are 4, 2 fours are 8. Then 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 2 sixes are 12. 2 3s are 6 and 3 1s are 3. So the prime factors of 48 are, there are 4 2s there, so let's put them all together. 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and then we have a 3. Now we must find the prime factors of 84. Let's divide it by 2. 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4. Now again by 2, 2 2s are 4, 2 1s are 2. Now I have to use another number, prime number 3, 3 sevens are 21 and by 7, 7 is also a prime number. So what are the prime factors of 84? 2 into 2 into 3 into 7. Now let's find the prime factors of 88. 88 divided by 2, 2 fours are 8, 2 fours are 8, then again by 2, 22, then again by 2, 2 11s are 22. This time we use 11, which is a prime number. 11 1s are 11. So let's write down 2 into 2 into 2 into 11. These are the prime factors of 88. Now we have to find the common prime factors, common to all. So 2 is common. Then we have one more 2 that's common. Now there's nothing else that's common. So the common prime factors are 2 into 2. So when you multiply that, you get your highest common factor. 2 twos are 4. So the HCF is 4. Question 3, 12, 16 and 28. Let's find all the prime factors of 12, 16 and 28. Prime factors of 12. 2 sixes are 12. 2 3s are 6 and then we use 3, 3 1s are 3. So that will be 2 into 2 into 3 prime factors of 12. Now the prime factors of 16, let's start with 2. 2 8s are 16, 2 4s are 8, 2 2s are 4 and 2 1s are 2. So there are 4 2s, 2 into 2 into 2 into 2. Now, prime factors of 28. So, let's find that. 2 1s are 2. 2 4s are 8. Then we have 2 7s are 14. 7 1s are 7. So, the prime factors of 28 are 2 into 2 into 7. The common fa prime factors now we need to find is, now let's pick out 2. 2 is common to all. So, let's write that down. Into now there's one more 2 that's common. We have a 2 here. So into 2. There's nothing else that's common. So to find the edge here, we have to multiply these two. 2 2's are 4. So we have found the HCF of 12, 16 and 28 to be 4. So children, we'll stop with that for now. In our next video, we will continue with the remaining questions. Thank you children.